Hi everyone, it's winter as you know, and it's getting really cold and as the snow comes down, some of our birds are gonna get hungry this winter. So my idea for you is to show you how to do three simple bird feeders. The first one I'll show you right away. All you need are some Cheerios, some pipe cleaners, string and scissors. So if um, we have parents watching, make sure you help your child if they need to use scissors. I decided to go with the simplest one, um, which is the pipe cleaner because the wire is very easy to string them. So again, you would just simply take your Cheerios and thread those on as many as you'd like. And then you can bend that into various shapes and hang that outside for the birds to eat. So that's our first simple bird feeder. Okay, our second bird feeder again is an easy one, but again, you may need help from your mom and dad. This is something I used to do when I was a kid is we would string popcorn together. So you'll wanna use popcorn that's plain. We don't wanna use the microwave popcorn that has salt and oil and other things because that isn't good for the birds. And then again, have mom or dad or some adult help you with a large, hopefully not too sharp needle. And then you just take your popped popcorn, pop that, uh, push that needle through and string it. And as you get longer and longer, it makes a nice garland, which I'll show you how that looks on the tree in just a minute. Okay, the third bird feeder I'm gonna show you is a little messier, so you probably wanna get some paper towels handy, maybe lay down some um, wax paper, because we're gonna use either peanut butter, or if you cannot use peanut products, you can use soy butter, you can use almond butter, whatever you have. The important thing is it's sticky and it has fat in it for the birds so they can survive through the winter. The other thing you'll need, of course, is bird seed. And what I've done today to show you, first of all, I went out to the parks in town. Uh, pine Tree Park, for example, has a lot of pine trees and picked up these uh, cones that are mature. These pieces are called scales. They're nice and open. And what we're going to do first is we're going to tie a string around that because you don't want to put the peanut butter and seeds on and not have a way to tie it on without getting peanut butter all over yourself. So first thing, I'm going to take a string. You can use yarn. You can use um, any kind of cord or uh, heavier twine or things like that around the house. And again, I'm going to take my um, pine cone. I'm going to tie around the upper third of the pine cone. So let me do that quickly here. And I'm going to tie a knot so that my pine cone will hang upright like this. Then I'm going to tie an overhand knot at the top. So let me just do that for you. And now we're ready to make it messy. So once you have your um, pine cone prepared, the next thing is we're going to take some of our peanut butter. And I went ahead and put it in a bowl and you can use either a rubber scraper, you can use a spoon, a knife, whatever works for you. I'm gonna use the spoon I think here first. And again, the idea is to put the pita butter in there and go all the way around, trying to fill in between those scales. And of course the birds will eat that along with the seeds as they peck at it this winter. So it's kind of a fun way to Make your own bird feeders that you can put out in your yard. And I know when I was a kid, we would put our Christmas tree out after Christmas, stick it in a snowbank, and we decorate it in a way I'm going to show you in a few minutes and let the birds enjoy those uh, edible decorations. So, as you can see, I'm getting a lot of peanut butter on the outside edges. And then I went ahead and put the seed in a bowl. I'm going to go ahead and roll my pine cone in the seeds. You can also just kind of sprinkle it over the top. And when I'm done, we have a seed and peanut butter covered pine cone. So again, you can get pine cones around. You might even have some um, old decorations of real pine cones you can use. There are also, of course, different kinds of trees in town, a spruce, tree has a long skinny cone. So I made one of those to show you the difference. And let's say you don't have any pine cones and don't have a way to go find some. You can even take 
a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll and cut that, smear it, and this is what I did with this one with peanut butter, rolled it in the seeds, and now we have another way for the birds to get to the seed. So we have those three possibilities. You got your Cheerios, you've got your um, popcorn strands or garlands, and then you have your seeded ornaments. So next, let's look what that looks, let's see what that looks like on our tree. So here we've decorated a tree just to give you an idea how these would look outside in your yard. We've got our different uh, peanut butter and seed ornaments. We've got our Cheerio ornaments, and then you can drape your garland of popcorn. And one of my favorite birds to watch for is red, just like this one, and that's the cardinal. And in just a few minutes, I'm gonna show you some other books we have here at the library that'll help you do the really fun part, and that's to watch the birds come and eat your at your feeders. So let me show you those next. So as I said, I'd like to show you some of the, um, the uh, books we have here at the library that can help you identify the, the birds that visit your feeders this winter. So again, we've got some that are about different kinds of book, uh, birds, some are about how to watch birds and record birds. Um, again, some of these are for summertime. This is the one I started with today. Some of the ones that might um, visit you at, visit your feeder. So I'm gonna show you some of the more common ones and some of my favorites to, to watch for this winter. So again, we have lots of different resources here at the library for you to borrow. And of course you can always use different things online. So just to give you a few uh, ideas what to look for, and um, uh, mom and dad, if you're watching, another extension activity you could do with your child is to have them keep a journal or a diary of what they see, um, how often they see those birds and what kind. So just to show you a few, this is my favorite, and that's the cardinal. Um, as many of you probably already know, the boy and girl uh, birds can sometimes look very different. So the male cardinal is bright red and very pretty in the wintertime. And here's the female. So that's probably my favorite to watch for. Um, in my feeder. Another one of my favorite, he always is upside down. This is a um, nuthatch and they like to go upside down on trees looking for food. And so they're a fun one to watch um, their crazy antics. There also will probably be some woodpeckers checking it out. They like to look for those seeds and also some very similar types of woodpeckers called the flickers. And again, there's going to be sparrows, there's going to be, um, who knows, all sorts of birds. And again, there's several books here at the library that will help you identify what you're seeing. So I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Feed those birds this winter, they'll appreciate it. And thanks for joining us today. Have a great day.